Hey, how is it going, buddy? I'm just coming back with another video. And in this video, I'm just going to be talking to you guys a bit about where I've been, what's been going on, how I'm feeling, all that. Uh, and yeah, because I've, as some of you have seen my video I posted, more so for the description of it, I've had some personal stuff I gotta deal with, and I've been gone for about two and a half weeks. Don't worry, no one's injured, killed, or anything like that. No one's super sick, nothing like that. Uh, I just have had a lot of personal stuff and horrible anxiety the past about two, three weeks. And there's some very personal stuff I had to deal with, and there was just some other stuff that just kind of added on top of that, and then just, I really just kind of had enough, and I just kind of mentally just snapped and couldn't handle anything anymore. I just felt sick, I had horrible headaches, I was shaking, and I had to spend, I spent five days and going to like a group therapy group for the past week, but I just finished that up earlier today. I guess this is technically Friday now. Yesterday I did finish it up and I feel much better now, but it was just been a very, it was a very hard last few weeks for me, especially as a lot of you know, Libby passed, Libby passing away was a huge hit to me and my family. I mean, she was like a sister to me in a way. Cause I mean, I had had her since I was five and to have her, like, I mean, she was there for my whole childhood to see me like first going to school young fives to see me going in my senior year. So, I mean, that really hit hard for me, especially because it just felt like, I mean, she was part of the ch my childhood. I mean, she always will be. I mean, that's the only dog I really ever owned from a child. I mean, we had one before that, but he passed away when I was like five. But she was like there for just about all of it for the times I can really remember things. And that's been very hard for me and my family. I mean, we're getting better, but it's still, we get upset about it. I mean, she was just such a big part in the Haber. Where you call her 13? I mean, she was two weeks away from her 13th birthday. So we really had her for about 13 years. And it wasn't just that. There was some other very personal stuff that was going on. A couple other things that just kind of added on. And then that with the dog happening and then just everything. It just kind of, I couldn't take it anymore. I just kind of, I was feeling sick. I couldn't sleep. So I've been in a group therapy at a mental hospital, local mental hospital facility. I don't know, I wasn't actually in the hospital hospital part. Like I wasn't staying there. But I, it, it was just been very hard for me the past month. Uh, especially the last two weeks because just so much stuff was built up. And just kind of so much happening. It was just like... So I've been gone about the last three weeks almost. Uh, I'd like to also take a big thank you for everyone. Because the support... Whether it's been on YouTube, people I know in real life on just messaging me, the Instagram, Snapchat, all this stuff. I mean, the support has been incredible. It really has. To anyone who's helped outreach, it's just been insane the past few weeks for all that's happened. And I really, it really means a ton to me. I mean, this is just such an awesome group of people I know, friends, family, and loved ones, and an awesome community I have on YouTube with you guys to be, I mean, it's, the support has been phenomenal. I mean, I couldn't tell you how many messages and comments in total I received asking how I was doing or feeling for me. I mean, it was just insane how much. But it really, really does mean a lot to me, and I... Thank you everyone so much because it means a ton, especially because this, well, this year in general has been hard for a lot of us, but it's really the last month has been really difficult for me ever since there was some other private stuff that happened and then Libby kind of happened around the same time and then 
it just, it's been really rough the past month for me. But I appreciate all the support. I mean, it's been incredible. I mean, the community having you two, it may be small, but it is sure a good one. I mean, the views I've been getting. And also, I was going to say that I was going to make a video about just kind of thank you for all the support on my channel before some of the stuff happened to me. The support on the channel has been insane lately. The views are up tremendously, or a good amount. The, I mean, I look at the view count on my things. We've gained like 2,000 views in the last month. The likes are going up. The subscribers are going up. We're at 465 right now. It's just nuts. And thank you guys a lot. I mean, the support has been incredible. I, mean, I may not have the biggest group of YouTube of followers, but it is sure a darn good one. And I'm very thankful that I have such a loyal following. I mean... I get a pretty good amount of views for the amount of subscribers I have. It's not like just a bunch of people are subscribed and I'm getting five views. I mean, it means a lot to me, guys. It's just, past month for me has been pretty rough. Just in general, I actually had a lot of bad anxiety just kind of back really in March and April. It was bad. May, it started to get better, but then kind of just Libby thing happened and then just some other stuff and I just couldn't take any more, right? I had to get some other help. It was gotten to the point where it was just bad. But I appreciate all the support from everyone. As I said, whether your friends, family, YouTube, community, it's just been incredible. It means a lot. The, uh, what was I about to say? Ugh, oh, I can't. Oh, I will be back on YouTube from here on out. I'll be posting regularly, streaming regularly, and all that kind of stuff. I don't have a strict schedule, but I will be streaming later today at 5 p.m. Eastern if you see this video in time of a Fortnite tournament. And I will be streaming all day, either Saturday or Sunday. I have to decide on the date first. But I'm going to some odd time one of those days for sure. But I appreciate everyone's patience, concerns, and just all the outreach I've had for me in the last few weeks. It's been incredible because it really has been hard for me. And yeah, I mean, life hasn't been the greatest it feels like this year. That's definitely for sure. The whole COVID thing, losing Libby, the other just kind of I'm a very I think I've said it before I'm pretty sure in a lot of you can probably tell by my videos person I'm a very extroverted outgoing person like I love meeting new people love going to places parties everything and all that and just not having a whole lot of social interaction besides video games as much as I love them it's just not the same as seeing all the people I and I get energized being around people so there's been days, I don't think I said this, or maybe I did, there were some days this month where I just felt so down and tired. I slept for 14, just, I slept for 17 hours straight one day, and it's not a lie. It wasn't even because I was sick or something, I just generally was so just, eh. I just have been really tired, especially the last few months, lack of motivation. But as I went to group therapy, and all that. It was good to see that there are other people with similar feelings and similar struggles as I've had and just that you're able to reach out and talk about things because it's really good to know there's other people out there. And yeah, I promise to all of you watching, if there's anything you should go through, you're not alone. You're not the these thoughts. You're not crazy. There's always someone with similar stuff going on or the exact same thing. There's always people who have anxious thoughts and always when people think what they're thinking is dumb and that is not the case at all I promise you that I say that because I have been in many so as far as you don't know I may have some of you know this I don't know if I've ever seen a video I've probably my whole life had about nine or ten different therapists I used to be a very 
like uh, I had a lot of behavior problems growing up until about 11, 12 ish. Saw a lot of therapists for that and couldn't always find our own. My mom felt like there were only like, there's only really been two that I've stick that I've stuck with out of like those nine or 10. And those two were, I both, one I saw for about three and a half years and one I'm still seeing for now, which is a little over four years now. But I've been in like other like groups growing up of other kids and I, I'm not a mental health expert by any means necessary. I'm not claiming to be some social worker, doctor, therapist, no. But I've seen a lot from what of the, a lot of the special education stuff I've had, therapy groups, sensory groups. And I just, I've been around so many people growing up like that my whole life that I can tell you that you're not the only one who feels a way or who thinks your thoughts are dumb or who might think your thing you do think is weird. It, it's fine. It's not bad. A lot of people, no one's going to think, or anyone's opinions that matters is, is going to think you're an idiot or a weirdo. And I can promise you guys that. It was a bit nerve-wracking first going to the group, especially because I said, I can't give out for confidential issues, like personal stuff, but there was, I can do this. There was a... Uh, Basically, as you guys, a lot of you know, I turned 18 last month, like barely over a month ago now. My birthday is June 14th. And so there is a cutoff for like the children's and the adult program. So I barely am in the adult program. And it was kind of scary for me, a little nerve wracking that I was going to be like going into this because I may be legally an adult, but most people hanging out with are between 15 and 19 and I don't really consider 18, 19 year olds really adults in a sense that like I know legally they are, but like physically and mentally, I don't really necessarily in a sense. And it just felt, it was a little bit strange for me at first, but the people were all very nice and everything. It just, it was, it was different for me for sure, but it was a really, really good experience. I'm glad I went. But yeah, that's kind of what I want to say to you guys. I just thank you a lot for all the support. It's just been tremendous. This goes to every single person. I mean, the people in the YouTube community, friends, family, the messages, comments, I mean, phone calls, I mean, video chats, everything that's message, Snapchats, I just everything. It's just been, the support's been phenomenal for me over the stuff I've had to deal with the past few weeks. I'm really, really happy I have such a good group of friends. It's something I really don't want to take for granted because I didn't have a lot of really stable friends for most of my life. And I'm very happy the past four years, three or four years, I've been able to. And it means a lot that I'm able to have such good, caring people in my life, especially after... Some of the stuff I have had to deal with earlier in life because I used to be the kid. I didn't, I just sat around at recess and didn't talk to anyone because I was so nervous and shy and everything. For four years straight, I did that. And I just struggled so much. I mean, I'm not trying to get much of sympathy or anything. I'm just kind of saying it just feels good after all those years of the struggle and the pain with certain mental stuff and just struggling in school. I tell you guys, I have learning disorder and everything. It was just really difficult for me to keep up. Felt I was really dumb and stupid and was very, very shy for many years. Didn't have really good social skills at all. Face turned red whenever I talked to anyone. And I just, it's, I have such the greatest group of friends I could ask for and everyone. And it means so much to me. But yeah, guys, that's just kind of do for this video. Uh, once again, thank you all very much for the support. What it, uh, just it's been incredible the last few weeks, month. The view and the thanks for supporting the channel. The views have been going up tremendously. Subscribers, it's just been insane. 
Uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to say for this video. Thank you guys a lot. Stay safe out there, guys. Remember to drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, and see you guys in the next one.